So the last time we got together, we talked about adding and subtracting integers. And just as kind of like a little recap uh, to add, we looked at if the question, if the, the numbers in it had the same signs or if they had different signs. Uh, we said if they had the same signs, we would just think about adding their absolute value and keeping the sign. So the example we used was negative three plus negative 12. Uh, it's like 3 plus 12 is 15, but they're both negative, so we'll keep the negative sign. If they had different signs, we thought about their absolute values and we subtracted them. So if it was 4 plus negative 8, we would think about it being like 8 minus 4, which is 4, because that larger absolute value is negative, the answer would be negative. Uh, then we did some subtracting. And the first thing that we did was add the opposite. So we changed our subtraction problems into addition problems. And once we did that, then we just followed the same rules for adding. So today we're gonna look at multiplying and dividing. What is the rules when we multiply and divide integers? Um, kind of like adding, we first look at what the signs are of the numbers that we're multiplying. If they are the same signs, And our answer is always positive. So if we multiply two positive numbers together, four times five, we get a positive number 20. And that's something we're pretty comfortable with. We've been multiplying positive integers since we started multiplying. Uh, and if we do, let's say negative three divided by negative one, uh, we would think about it as 3 divided by 1, which is 3. They're both negative, so our answer is going to be positive. So that works for both multiplying and dividing. All right? Now, um, same signs, they're positive. They're different signs, then our answer is always negative. So different signs. Our answer is negative. So if we think about negative 8 times 4, it's like 8 times 4, which is 32. They have different signs, so that becomes negative 32. If we think about something like 25 divided by negative 5, Again, positive divided by a negative. They have different signs, so my answer would be negative five. All right. So let's, what happens if we are multiplying or dividing three numbers? What does that look like? So. What about if I have three numbers? So negative two times negative three times negative four. Our order of operations say that we would just go left to right. And so the first thing that I would multiply is negative two times negative three. When I look at just those two, I'm multiplying two negative numbers. So that becomes positive. So I'll rewrite this now as six times negative four. Now I'm multiplying a positive number and a negative number. And so when I do that, my answer becomes negative, which is negative 24. All right. Sometimes when we're gonna kind of put all of this stuff together, So some of the questions that we might see tonight will involve a little adding and subtracting and maybe multiplying and dividing. So if we were to combine operations, we 
that might look something like negative six times negative three plus five. Uh, we've sort of talked about the order of operations a little bit. The PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So when we see something like this, we have an addition problem inside the parentheses, and then we have multiplication here. So we would have to do our parentheses addition first. Negative three plus five is an addition problem with different signs. So we think about subtraction. Five minus three is two. The five is bigger and positive, so it stays positive. So then our next line would look like this. Now we have negative six times two. They have different signs. So our answer is going to end up being negative. All right. So when we work tonight, we're going to have a mix of adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. We might have a little bit where they are combined. And then we're going to look at, can we apply some story problems or some application of integers? So you really want to look for some key words like uh, gained or loss or deposited or withdrew to give you an idea if that number is going to be increasing or decreasing. So here's an example. At 9 a.m., the temperature was negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit. In one hour, The temperature increased by 8 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is the new temperature? All right, so uh, we want to pull out some key things. Negative 15 degrees is good to know. In one hour, the temperature increased. So that means it went up. It gained eight degrees. So it's negative 15 plus eight. And so what is that new temperature? Again, I'm adding with different signs. I think about it like 15 minus eight. And 15 minus eight is seven. That 15 is larger, it's negative or the absolute value of it's larger, it's negative, so this would be negative seven degrees Fahrenheit. So we'll just kind of dabble a little bit in some application of integers as well as some mixed operations. So enjoy.